Hey everybody, Lindsay Smith here with your business tip this week. This week, I wanna talk to you about the top 10 takeaways from the 2012 National Association of Realtors Profile of Buyers and Sellers Reports. So let's get started. Number 10, buyers interested in buying a home in foreclosure. There was 55% of buyers who are interested in looking at homes that were in foreclosure. People still believe these are deals and lots of realtors are still getting leads by advertising and offering a list of foreclosures to the public. In your business, consider learning how to search for foreclosures or at least bring up the topic with your clients and educate them. Number nine, first step taken during the home buying process. Most popular answer is looked online. This may seem obvious, but it points to the importance of taking your time to have amazing photos, comments, and thorough, accurate information on your listings. And this is the first place that people will typically look. Number eight, the value of website features. Photos and detailed information on properties is by far deemed the most useful information on websites, not your resume or your headshot. Focus on having great property searches. Something that's interesting here is that the perception of virtual tours being seen as very useful has actually dropped from 58% of people in 2011 to 45% in 2012. It's going to be an interesting trend to watch in the future. Number seven, actions taken as a result of an internet home search, which 90% of buyers do. After finding a home online, 76% of people drive by it. So my question to you is, what are you doing to the outside of the property in terms of marketing, brochure boxes, sign toppers, etc., to entice people to book a showing? In addition, what can you ask your clients to do in terms of curb appeal? Number six, list price to sale price ratio based on the number of weeks the home has been on the market. If your home has been on less than a week, the median list to sale price ratio was 100%. If it's been on for two weeks, your seller can expect to get 99% of sale price. So on a $400,000 home, that's $400,000 off the sale price. If it's been on three weeks to a month, 97% of sale price, which would be a $12,000 reduction. From five weeks to two months, 96%, that can be a $16,000 reduction. If it's been on three to four months, only 94% of sale price, of list price, sorry, that's $24,000. And if it's been on for over four months, they can expect to get only 91% of list price, which is about $36,000 on average. Number five, satisfaction with the selling process. Only 54% of people were actually satisfied and 30% were somewhat satisfied. This is not good for an industry. The gap here is a perception of value. It is your sole mission as a business person to ensure you offer more perceived value to your clients than you receive in compensation. That's a great quote from the go-giver and it rings so true in real estate. Number four, would the seller use the real estate agent again? 84% said yes, and 90% of the buyers said yes. Yet less than 50% actually do. The numbers are actually better here than we had led to believe, but it's still a great reminder that you need to keep in touch and stay top of mind. Number three, the number of agents interviewed by buyers. 66% of people use the first realtor they engage with. This number was true for sellers as well. Being first is more important than being perfect. So make sure you put yourself out there to meet people and be first. If you wait, they will not call you. Number two, the method used to find a real estate agent for selling a home. 80% was face-to-face or voice-to-voice contact. For sellers, only 3% came from online sources. This is one of the only online stats that came down from the previous year. And number one, how a buyer found a real estate agent online. Over over 73% of buyers found an agent from some type of personal contact directly or through someone that they knew. 
Real estate is still a relationship business and you can't get caught up in the trap of waiting for people to call you or contact you online. You must get out and meet people, learn about them, and add value to their lives. That was our top 10 takeaways from the NAR 2012 Profile of Buyers and Sellers. You guys can find it under the What's New section on our virtual office. And all the best in doing a ton of business for the rest of the year.